So um, at what point, I'm guessing in high school, uh, do you uh, get into watching porn? Did we talk about, I know you have a little yeah. interest in porn at a younger age. When does that start going on? Um, so I think I was like 12 or 13 when that happened. And um, it was like, at first it was pictures and I felt so dirty for doing it. Mm-hmm. But I'd look at like, and I was really into like girls. Like I never looked at guys. It was only like lesbian stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm still like that. Like, I don't know. I get off more towards like girl and girl action. So I would look at like, you know, pictures of that. And I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so dirty for doing this. And then like, <laughs> I just increasingly like got really into uh, watching like every night kind of thing really yeah now when you watch are you are you pleasuring yourself to it yeah so every night you're doing this <laughs> like wow. every night wow yeah wow. a lot of girls talk about watching it but they just watch it to sometimes they watch it and they turn it off and then they you know finish the business um other girls you know are masturbating while they're watching it so you had some privacy at your home to be able to do that. You never got caught. Your parents never. <laughs> um, usually, I'd go into the bathroom, turn on the shower for about an hour, and just do it. So hour. for an hour, and they're like, "What are you doing in there?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Nothing." <laughs> <laughs> for the but. record, uh, you know, unlike California, Washington does not have any water problems, so she wasn't, you know, wasting water. <laughs> yep, <laughs> only happened a couple nights. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. uh, Anacortis is in a water shortage. Uh, please, no more showers. Yep. <laughs> That's no funny. Um, cool. So you start uh, watching pictures, then it goes into. Um, so, what do you remember? What are some of the first things that you were searching? Like girl, girl sites? Girl, girl, yeah. Yeah. It was honestly like it wasn't, it was just Pornhub. I'd mm-hmm. look up like, you know, lesbian sex and yeah yeah so it wasn't i don't know what like websites i was looking at but yeah at what, at what point um are you thinking about well you know what i could possibly do that when does that come into mind what porn well, oh yeah yeah it. you're watching it on uh you know you're watching it on your phone 13 14 15 16 till today you're watching right it. at what point you're like i could probably do that a couple months before graduation so you're, high you're school a senior graduation. in high school. Senior in high school. I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with myself. Yeah. I mean, I had college like goals, but I kind of want to do something like crazy, you know? Mm-hmm. And I wanted to do something that would like be exciting. And I was like, what could that be? I, you know, I'm going to be 18. <laughs> right. And right. I was like. Skydiving? No. Um... <laughs> Anything life threatening? No. Um <laughs> nice. No, so I found a Greg site actually, and I was just really intrigued by it. And um, I just thought it was such a high class like production. And I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of want to be a part of this. Like, this would be kind of a cool thing to just get my feet into. What site was that? It was Vixen. Vixen. Mm-hmm. So you saw Vixen.com, and uh, you were you were um, impressed with the elevated quality yeah. of the scenes yeah. um, and the, they really do a really good job of branding themselves on social media mm-hmm. so um, it's happening all the time where we have girls who would normally never get into this business seeing that content that's been done at a very high level and there are other brands doing it uh, as well uh, I just think that um, uh, Greg is one of the uh, companies that are marketing the best right they're getting right. it out to people like you who were seeing right right? and so you saw this you saw his content and you're like wow so um at what point do you uh take action like you want to reach out and uh, pursue something right so um i kind of like decided after a few months that like this was the company that i really wanted to get into and i was just doing some research and i saw that most of the girls were part of the motley crew so i was like hey like they look like legit, you know, so I reached out to you and yeah, everything I remember, got rolling. I remember um, getting your email and uh, looking at this girl and I think you're like barely 18. Yeah, you're just turned 18. 18. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, but your, your beautiful face, you know, athletic body, um, great boobs. And, uh, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, this girl is like Anna Nicole Smith like all over again like she was a very very famous playboy model in the um 
the 90s and she became a guest um, model for uh, Guess Marciano uh, clothing brand. Wow. Yeah. Um, and uh, so she had a TV show and everything like that. So, um, yeah. And I'm like, wow. And so uh, when we talked, um, you were, you know, you were just interested in, uh, you know, kind of getting your feet wet a little bit mm-hmm. um, and uh, and uh, not really um, going full 110% of the business, but kind of being choosy about your work. So she expressed that she just wanted to work for Greg Nansky's brands. So, um, you know, we uh, we sat down, uh, Greg, myself, and you or put together a, a great package. And uh, over the last year, I think you've shot seven or eight scenes for them, mm-hmm. um, but really high profile, beautiful scenes. Right. Um, and uh, uh, you went to uh, France. Yes. <laughs> France. We'll talk about that a little bit uh, a little bit uh, later. And uh, it was amazing. And uh, you blew up. 